This is your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Dave Ellis. Michigan State and Central will tee it up in Mount Pleasant at 3.30 Saturday afternoon. Will it be another big day for Le'Veon Bell? You know, just run hard. I mean, you know, the offensive line does a great job, uh, you know, opening holes, you know. So, you know, once you see a hole, you got to make sure you, know, you take advantage of that hole. And, you know, when you get an open field, make guys miss and, you know, take over and whatever happens just happens after that. Because you, you love that, you know. You want to have, like, a rushing touchdown. And, you know, when you give the ball to, you know, Le'Veon Bell or even, like, Nick Hill or Larry Caper, you know, you want them to score, you know. And uh, to see stuff like that, it's, you know, unbelievable knowing that if we keep on doing our job, they're going to keep adding more run run plays and, you know, we'll have more plays like that. Michigan State Volleyball opening up the Auto Owners Insurance Spartan Showcase at Jenison tonight, taking on IPFW. The Mastodons won the first set, State came back to win the next two, but they had to go to a fifth and deciding set to close it out with a 15-9 advantage there. Lauren Wazinski led the way with 23 kills, and Kelsey Kuypers chipped in 11 more in some key times. It's the first time in the season so far that the Spartans have lost more than one set in a match. Kathy George says that struggle will be helpful in the future. I thought it was a great test for us. Um, we had to come back uh, and, and, and fight through adversity and start to get clumps back to come back and win, and I thought that was really important. We showed a lot of composure. Field hockey ranked 20th in the country, hosting 6th ranked Virginia. The Spartans fell behind early, but Abby Barker's goal put them back in it. They thought they had the game winner late in the first half, but this one ruled as an illegal shot. The Cavaliers came away with a 2-1 to one double overtime win. We can hang and play with anyone, and um, we just got to prepare and practice and be ready for any opponent. And um, I think this just gives us confidence moving through the rest of the season to know that, you know what, um, if you can play with anyone, we can beat anyone. We'll have all the wrap-up of the football game from Mount Pleasant on our next show. That's your two-minute update. I'm Dave Ellis. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.